The 2017 Honda CBR250RR is here and it's beautiful. Our first look at Honda's new pint-sized parallel twin sport beak. It's no surprise that Honda's had a new CBR250RR in the works or that it will feature an all-new parallel twin motor. It is a surprise, however, that it looks this good. I don't normally get super excited about bikes this size, but this thing looks awesome. The new Honda CBR250RR was first teased last year at the Tokyo Motor Show as the lightweight super sports concept. Back then, much was unclear about the platform it would be built around, and all we knew was that it looked like a far more aggressive CBR300R. The production model is finally here, at least in announcement, and we're excited to say it didn't stray much from that initial concept. It was just released in Indonesia, where it will also be built. Powered by an all-new liquid-cooled, parallel twin, the CBR250RR comes with Honda's throttle-by-wire TBW system and three riding modes. The 250RR is built using a steel truss frame made into a aluminum, gull-type swing gun. It also gets an inverted fork, pro-link shock at the rear with five-step preload adjustment and single 310-240mm discs mounted front and rear. Abs will be optional. Color options will be racing red, anchor gray metallic, and matte gunpowder metallic. Cycle World Spies tell me the WBR will make 38 horsepower, 16.96 feet pounds of torque, hit peak power over 12,000 rpm, weigh 340 pounds drive, and sit on a 140 rear and 110 front tire. I absolutely love the looks of the CBR 250RR, probably because it looks like it's borrowed lots of design elements from two of my favorite superbikes. While not exactly the same, the thin and angular slanted headlights and tail section, when looking from the front of the bike, have some striking resemblance to the Ducati Panigale and Yamaha YZF-R1, with maybe a little RSV4 in the shape of the face as well. The exhaust doesn't feel like it was found in some bin somewhere, the dash looks great for this class, and the tank and fairings have all been giving design attention. I think we're going to see a lot of great builds at track days in the nearish future. From the murmurs I've heard from inside Honda, the CBR250RR should be making its way stateside. It was built more for Asian markets to combat the new Yamaha R25, KTM RC250, and Kawasaki Ninja 250, but I think it will make for quite the little racer in the US for those who love a great quarter-liter bike. The big question will be to see how it stacks up against the Yamaha R3.